Okay, let's continue. Uh, let's see how to do the factorization. So for factorization, uh, we, we, we observe that this is a 3x squared plus 7x minus 6, so it's a quadratic equation. So quadratic equation, we can try to use this method. So 3x squared minus 6 plus 7x for the part A. So we get 3x times x to get 3x squared. Then how about uh, negative 6 should be 2 times 3. Let me see. Yeah. So we have a 3 and a 2. Right? So I get 9x uh, cross multiply. So it's 2x. So this is plus minus minus plus. Okay. So for part A, a fully factorized form is just 3x minus 2 x plus 3 that's the answer okay then for part b 162 take away 1 2 8 y square now uh, look at 162 1 2 8 i think we can divide by some number 162 divided by 2 31 let me check If I divide by 2, if I take out 2, I get 81 minus 64 y squared. Okay, and then further, this is actually 9 squared minus 8 y squared. Like that. Okay, which gives me a a plus b, a minus b. Right? You can see that a plus b a minus b. This is a squared minus b squared. Alright, so I get 2 a plus b a minus b. And that's my final answer. Right? Okay, next for the third one. So for c. Now see how many terms are there? How many terms do you see? How many terms? There's a 1, 2, 3, 4. Four terms you have to use grouping. Grouping. Okay, what's grouping? We group 2 by 2. And then we factorize them, right? So 1 minus a squared minus ab minus b. So the, the first group, this one, okay? The first group, uh, this is actually a squared minus b squared. Yeah, so I get 1 minus a, 1 plus a. <coughs> now the second group here, I can take out b. That's, that's common. So I take out b, left with a plus 1. Right? Now then, I have the a plus 1 and the 1 plus a that's common. This two is common between the two terms. So I extract it again. So 1 plus a x are left with 1 minus a minus b. That's the final answer. Okay, there should be a lot of questions here, especially, especially, yeah. when I extract this, you see this, these two are common. When I extract these two, it came here. Right, how, where did the 1 minus a come from? Come from this part. Okay, this guy. And then where did the negative b come from? Yeah, the negative b. Wow, okay. Looking very complicated. Okay? Right. So once you reach this stage, uh, there's nothing else to factorize and that will just be the final answer. Okay, then? Right? Maybe let me, let me do a bit more. Then we can have you try. Okay, next part is simplifying. Right, this dangerous looking thing looks so scary right right but it's actually one of the easiest huh? so let me do 3a here 3a so we do everything one shot and then you try later okay see how it goes so first one um okay we we realize the square can you see the square there now what happens to the square what are you supposed to do you're supposed to go into a and b okay so let's just write it out a 5a square b times 6 a square b squared. Can you see that? 
the A, I mean the 2, is 2 when in. Right? So divided by 15 AB squared. So let's consolidate the numbers and the alphabet. Now, uh, looking at the numerator, what's 5 times 6? 30. And then I have A squared, A squared. You can see the A squared and the A squared. It will give me A4. And then B cubed. Divided by 15 AB squared. Right, so I look at the number uh, 30 divided by 15. 30 divided by 15. That's actually 2. So this 2, and so on, left with a 2. And then the a to the power of 4 cancel with a. So I get 2a cubed b. That's my answer. Okay, why? We use red. Okay, so 30 and 15 cancel off. Okay, left with 2. Now a to the power of 4. A at the bottom, cancel 1, four, uh, one A, left 3. This one, B square cancel off, left 1B. So that's my final answer. Alright? Sound okay? Okay. Let's do the next one. So the next one is uh, B over here. So let me let me find some space, huh? So you do it here. Okay, so 3x plus 9 divided by x plus 1. Now because it's divided, I change to times. So I get x squared plus 4x plus 3 over x plus 3 bracket squared. Now the next thing I need to do is to factorize. What do I need to factorize? This this one at the top. Okay, let me use another color. Uh, green color working. So working factorize this x squared plus 3 plus 4x so x x 3 1 plus plus okay so this these are my two answers so I get put it down here um, okay now you look at this part 3 x plus 9 is there anything to factorize this part? You can take out some number, ah, uh, good, take out 3. <coughs> so x plus 3, x plus 1 times, times, now the factorized form, x plus 3, x plus 1, divided by x plus 3 squared. Okay, now comes the cancellation part. So for cancellation, um, now here we can cancel y because they are all multiply. They are multiply, multiply, multiplying with each other. Okay, they just multiplying with each other. So can you see this uh, x plus 3 cancel? This one gone. And then there's another x plus 3. So this whole thing gone. Okay, and then can you see this x plus 1? Cancel with this x plus 1. So what are we left with? Mm. Yes, I say just three. See? Easier. Ah, it's one of the easiest. Okay. So let's do the last one. Then they're gonna do everything, huh? Okay, your last phase. Okay, let's do here part C. Uh one over x minus one. Okay. First thing you need to factorize this. What's one minus x squared? Factorize. Factorize. Remember your uh, a plus b, a minus b, because 1 minus x squared is actually 1 squared minus x squared. So you factorize, it will become 1 plus x minus x. Okay, so I will get this huh? 1 over x minus 1 plus x minus 1 over 1 minus x. 1 plus x. Okay? Right? So, next step, uh, I need to combine them. Make the one fraction. I need to have the common, common what? Denominator. 
Okay, now what's the common denominator? I already have a... Oh, okay, so this is a x minus 1. But this is 1 minus x. Okay, what I need to do is to switch. So this becomes minus 1 over 1 minus x plus x minus 1 over 1 minus x 1 plus x. Next. Next, I combine them. Um, I have this uh, common multiple, uh, sorry, common, common denominator which is lacking uh, 1 plus x. So multiply with a 1 plus x and combine everything plus x minus 1, 1 minus x, 1 plus x. Okay, now enough space. Need more space. Next. Next, the minus sign has a rainbow in, so become minus 1 minus x plus x minus 1, x 1 plus x. Okay, and then we evaluate the minus 1. The numbers at the top left with negative 2. Alright, and that's my answer. How's it? Okay, let me just save this. Hey, yeah. Then we can.